this meteorite's small, but it's unique because we can tell what its orientation was as it was flying through our atmosphere based on its shape alone. Let's talk about it. This is an unclassified meteorite I acquired from Northwest Africa this year. And it's not very interesting from a scientific perspective in terms of its composition. It's just an ordinary chondrite, which is the most common type of meteorite that falls to Earth. But what's unique about this one is its shape. A lot of times when meteorites fly to Earth, they kind of tumble as they come in. And because of that, you can't really tell a lot about the path they took to Earth through our atmosphere, but sometimes some conditions, the shape of some meteorites lend them to be oriented. And that's what this is. It is an oriented meteorite based on its shape and a few different characteristics it has. The first and most obvious orientation characteristic of this meteorite is its general shape. It looks like a little heat shield. You can kind of see how when it's facing one way, you can almost see the path, the, the flames and the plasma would take as they come off of this meteorite in one particular shape. And it held that shape probably for the majority of its flight through our atmosphere until it got uh, to the point where it was getting ready to crash into the Earth's surface. The second interesting thing here relates to the flow lines on it. Now, when meteorites come in because they're getting burnt up, they develop a little bit of a fusion crust. That's the black parts you see on this meteorite. Some of those have worn away, but you can see around the edges of the shield here that we still have some of that crust. And there's some very subtle lines in that crust that are kind of radial along the, uh, the shield shape. And that's what we would call flow lines. They're basically where the fusion crust has melted a little bit and created those lines. Uh, and you can just kind of see how those might form as the meteorite was coming in. Uh, if you imagine uh, taking the front of an airplane and if you sprayed colored liquid on it, and if you saw that front of the airplane coming through the surface, the water would kind of bead back like these flow lines have. So it's a, a very similar effect. It's just the liquid here was the melting of the fusion crust rather than something we sprayed on it. Meteorites like this one tend to be a little bit more valuable because of their oriented shape, even though it's not scientifically interesting from its composition. This is a neat one of my collection. I like to show it off to kids and other folks to help them understand what some characteristics of orientation look like. There are other characteristics of orientation, things like fluted regmaglyphs. This doesn't show that. We'll maybe look at that in some other videos. Speaking of which, like and subscribe for more videos. I'll show you some more meteorites from my collection and some cool meteorite facts.